so if this video today gets to 15 likes then we'll do a combo tutorial to pair along with the new stuff that we got But anyways, let's go ahead and do the combo tutorial today. So uh, I am just going to start off with a couple of one card combos, and then we're going to go from there into like two card combos. Um, so you guys can kind of understand the deck a little bit better. Yes, this is not the most powerful version of the deck currently, but it's probably the most powerful budget version of August. Yes, yeah, so let's go and get this shuffled up. So I just need one card right now, and I'm just going to show it with Fossil Dig just so that way you guys can see the whole line because this one card combo works with either fossil dig scrap raptor or scrap recycler this will get you full combo so we're gonna go ahead and activate our fossil dig here we're gonna grab the scrap raptor i know i probably don't need to shuffle since i'm just doing a combo tutorial not a test hand so we're gonna go ahead and normal summoner scrap raptor activate his effect to get the extra normal summon targeting himself pop himself activate his effect in graveyard we're gonna add the scrap recycler so now we can normal summon the scrap recycler uh, technically, this is a one and a half card combo because I don't play Rosenix anymore, but we're going to send Jet Synchron. So assume we have a discard. We're going to discard to summon Jet Synchron out to the field. And then we're going to link to banishing the Jet Synchron, which actually is a relevant thing. It does synergize well with this deck. Uh, so then we're going to go scrap Wyvern. And then now we can go scrap Wyvern effect to summon back scrap recycler and pop it, which will then trigger scrap Wyvern's second ability to summon a scrap from deck and then pop a card on the field. Do not forget that you have to pop a card on field on resolution of Wyvern's second effect as well. It can be on either field, so if your opponent has something set up, you can pop their board. Uh, if not, you have to pop one of your cards. So just don't forget that. So right here, we're going to summon Golem, and then we're going to have to pop our own Scrap Wyvern. Because we care more about the dumps than we do the Link monster at this point. So we're going to go ahead and Scrap Golem, bring back Scrap Recycler. This is the most important one to remember on your second dump with scrap raptor if you're just doing like the one card combo or even sometimes the two card combo you at this point you have to send world legacy world wand so you can get another dump that's very important because we need the world legacy monster engrave so that way we can link these two off i'm sure some of you on the channel have seen this before so we're gonna link summon lib the world key blade master this is why it's important that we have the world legacy name engrave because now we can use her effect to be able to set our world legacy succession from deck which is now able to be activated because we have a world legacy monster in the graveyard. So we're going to go ahead and succession here. Now, any smart opponent would bestial the world wand. As soon as they see you summon lib, they would bestial the world wand right away. Just so you're aware. But we're going to succession, summon back the golem. And then now we can use golems effect again because they're all soft ones for turns to bring back the scrap recycler. And we're going to get another dump. This is where we now get to go for our boy, the Orcist Harpoor, because we love him. He's fantastic. So he's going to go to the graveyard. Before we do anything with him, of course, our, our opponent has one last chance to bestial right here, uh, which at this point, if they didn't bestial the world wand, it wouldn't matter. If they if they try to bestial the harpoor here, you already have world wand set up, so you can just revive the harpoor. So that kind of helps you play around those a little bit if they don't bestial early enough. If they don't take the chance to bestial here, then they have lost it because now you're going to link these three off into a three material Appalosa. So now this will protect the rest of your combo. If your opponent hasn't hand trapped you at this point, they're making a mistake because by this point they would have been able to stop you. But if they haven't done it yet, then like the only thing that can stop you here is like a nib and merm. And even then you still have a lot of your setup, so you're fine. So now that we have the Appalosa established, we can go ahead and use our Harpoor's effect to be able to banish him to summon out from deck. We are going to go ahead and summon up the Gearsu, the Orcus Mech Knight. Activate his effect on summon. We are going to send Orcus Nightmare. Now we have basically everything that we need set up in Graveyard. The only piece that we're missing is Orcus Symbol Skeleton, which is going to be plenty easy to get to. Uh, so at this point, we don't really need the Harp Horror that much anymore. It's done its job. It's gotten the Gearsu out from the deck. We have our grind game and our engine online. So Harp Horror can just kind of sit in the banish zone for a little while. You don't need him right away. So we're going to go ahead and banish the Orcus Nightmare targeting the Apollosa Bow of the Goddess. Doesn't really matter uh, because we're not going to be giving her enough attack boost. But if for some reason you already have access to the Symbol Skeleton, if you just opened up nice you can send the ruin force here instead and that does give you an extra negate which is pretty cool but at this point we would rather have the symbol skeleton because that's going to turn our whole grind game way further online so now we have him set up 
we do need to get Orcus Nightmare back in the graveyard. So we will at this point, World Legacy World Wand, banish itself to summon back the Orcus Nightmare because that is going to be very imperative. So now we can link these two off into a Galatea. We're going to use Galatea's effect. We're going to put back the World Legacy World Wand. And then we are actually going to set Babel. If you are in a matchup where you just need the extra control, you absolutely could just go for Crescendo here. There's absolutely nothing wrong with going for Crescendo here if that's going to be better into the matchup. There's even a lot of people that would argue they would rather go for Crescendo first. So you just have the Galatea Crescendo and then you just end your turn there with plenty of follow up engrave. So you'd have three negates off of Apollosa and an Orcus Crescendo to back you up. That's pretty good. If you decide not to go for the Crescendo and you do the Babel instead, then you change it up a little bit and then that's where you go through the whole symbol skeleton into Dengirisu line. And then you would link these two off for an IP Masquerade at that point. And this is especially stronger if you do have the SP. This is a lot stronger if you do have SP. If you don't, Nightmare Unicorn is still fine. Like, don't forget, this is only a one and a half card combo. You just needed your normal summon and then something to discard. Which potentially could have been an Orca's name. It could have been a Machina name. There's a ton of things that that could have been. This is just like box standard end board for Scrap Orcus. Um, if you're not as worried about hand traps as well, like if you're playing against like a Runic deck or something, instead of going into the Apollosa, you genuinely could have left the Lib up here and just use the scrap monsters as link monsters. Like if you're not worried about hand traps, you don't have to go into Apollosa. She's just really strong to be able to protect your Orcus combo from things like Ash and Bestials. Cause that's what a lot of people are gonna go after. They wanna stop that engine from getting its grind up. So let's reset this. I'm gonna go into a two card combo now. So since I've already shown you the, the whole scrap Raptor line, I'm just gonna start off with Recycler from now on. That is the main combo of the deck. So just keep that in mind. So there's actually a couple of different two card combos that we can have here. So the idea is you have scrap Recycler and then like a good number of machines can fill the role. Uh, so like Orcus Nightmare or World Wand, like basically any Orcus name that's not Symbol Skeleton or Gearsu. So like basically if you get Nightmare or Harp in your opening hand, uh, it's a two card combo. If you get Recycler and World Wand, it's a two card combo. Or if you get Recycler and Citadel, it's a two card combo. Uh, pretty much the only time it's not a two card combo with Recycler is if it's like one of the Orcus names that doesn't do anything on its own or if it's like mocking a fortress like you can this technically can be ruined force here as well this can technically be ruined force um there is also a small two card combo with urgent schedule but it doesn't really come up as much i'll show you all three of these different two card combos just so you guys can get a feel for it we're going to because they are all different all three of these two card combos are different like this is a this is an in-depth guide that i'm trying to show you guys here so this is going to basically be the same as the one and a half card combo but you have a card that's relevant for you to discard so we're going to go ahead and scrap recycler again we're going to do the same thing as last time we're going to dump the jet synchron here like it really just kind of all revolves around getting machines into the graveyard that you're just machine graveyard turbo that that's all this is it's like earth machine but better so now we can jet synchron by discarding the orcus nightmare so this is actually going to save us a dump later so now we can do the same thing of linking two here into our scrap wyvern this is currently three summons if you're accounting for nibiru so you can summon back scrap recycler pop recycler that's four summons and then wyvern here will get golem which is your fifth summon so keep that if your opponent nibs you here you can still play if you get nibbed here you can still absolutely play so we'll go ahead and scrap golem bring back recycler again standard stuff of course at this point we still want to be able to send our world wand so we get our lib access turned on so now we can go lib i'll show you a quick example of what it looks like if you're not worried about hand traps if you're not worried about your opponent's hand traps you can absolutely play differently so now we're gonna go lib and for those that are curious i have been playing this deck for a very long time so i know these lines like by heart so we can go succession here summon back golem golem summon back recycler and now we don't really need to send harp here because we already have nightmare set up but we still kind of want to because that will give us more playability so you have a couple different lines at this point honestly just leave these guys on field as link material you can even have summoned your recycler over here if you just want to guarantee that you have space that's totally fine i'm just accustomed to working around it so it is what it is so we are going to dark lock ourselves before we go any further we're going to banish the harp horror yes it's susceptible to hand traps at this point but we also have protection to keep playing through it so then now we get to summon Gearsu, and instead of sending the nightmare here 
we just get to directly dump our symbol skeleton so we have full graveyard set up we have every orcas name that we need in the graveyard so we're all good to go there and then now we're able to go ahead and link to with these guys to be able to go galatea if you're going for this line it's genuinely going to be better to go for the ip line so you're going to want to go for orchestrated babble basically if you want to go for the ip line if you have sp or if you just plan on going into unicorn for extra disruption the ip line is going to be miles better so you're going to want the babble for this so once again we don't really need our harpoor too much for follow-up so what we're gonna do is we are actually going to well i guess it doesn't really matter too much we can get heart back in rotation so we're gonna banish our world wand summon back the heart just so we have the world wand and banished because then galatea can spin that back and grab us our babble which we're just gonna activate immediately it's kind of off screen there i'm sorry i tried to get the camera set up as best i could so now that we're at this point we can go ahead and banish our symbol skeleton we're just gonna summon back an extra body doesn't really matter who just an extra body because the big point is is that now we get value off of our dingirsu because we summon dingirsu reattach harp or reattach the symbol i mean and we're gonna link off these two once again it doesn't really matter too much because now we want to go for the ip mascarena and then this is i mean basically the end board like it doesn't look insane you definitely still could have gone for the apollosa if you want because you do have two extra bodies here but genuinely it's fine because these bodies can be link material is the insane part so i know this board doesn't look crazy but this is actually like several interruptions so if you're on the budget version your ip tags out with lib to go into a nightmare unicorn which gets you another discard so you get a spin here and then lib's other effect is that when she's used this link material she can non-targeting shuffle a card from the field into the deck so basically you get two spins one targeting and one non-targeting and you're just set uh it's usually best to go lib chain link one unicorn chain link two to target because lib doesn't target and she activates in the graveyard so you have your opponent has less ways to be able to stop your lib but they have a huge number of ways to stop your unicorn so that's two interruptions right there and then you still have your symbol skeleton set up to be able to banish itself and summon back ding gears to send another card to your opponent controls to the graveyard or you can even just reattach the symbol skeleton if you want to guarantee the grind game because this gives all of your cards a one-time protection from battle or effect destruction um and that also guarantees your resources for next turn but basically here now you can just go ahead on your turn on the follow-up you can just go straight with any of these into an access code talker and then like start just setting stuff up to deal with your opponent but yeah so basically that end board gets you a few disruptions on top of whatever hand traps you have and gives you like infinite follow-up so two card combo with recycler and citadel or just like really anything that can extend here like this genuinely could be like fortress plus any machine like you could literally have fortress nightmare and it's the same thing actually like this combo is way more crazy this like that's the thing about this deck is it doesn't really have like super dedicated combos like if you only see the one card combo you have to play it obviously but like usually you're trying to play with different hands and just see the lines so once i've done with this combo i will show um a couple of test hands just to kind of show my thought process with the deck and how i play around with it just so you guys can understand it citadel recycler normal recycler instead of sending jet synchron this time we're actually going to send machina fortress like genuinely you could still do the jet synchron here jet synchron is fine but usually if you have citadel in hand you probably also have other machines in hand that you can discard so like citadel is cool or fortress is cool i mean so we're actually going to summon fortress by sending citadel for cost the other nice thing is that fortress is not an activated effect to summon whereas jet synchron is an opponent can go spell a jet synchron but they can't go spell a fortress so now what you get to do here is you get a link to you're gonna go into your scrap wyvern and it's gonna be mostly the same combo as before but you get an extra layer of disruption on it which is the really cool part this is one of those combos where zone placement really matters if you're building your emz or if you're building all of your link stuff over here you need to do your other setup over here if you're building your link stuff over here you need to do your other setup over here this deck does kind of play around the board like it's chess so keep that in mind uh so wyvern summon back recycler pop recycler now we're gonna go chain link one wyvern and chain link two citadel since an earth machine on field was destroyed by card effect so we actually get a chain block our scrap wyvern which is insane so this is going to be a card that we want to leave on the end board 
so we're gonna put it on the opposite side of our scrap wyvern in defense mode to play around stuff like lightning storm so now we get a trigger why or we're doing wyvern's second ability now so that we get to summon scrap golem if you need the link bodies if you need the setup for it you genuinely could pop citadel here you're just not going to have it on your field in this situation i would recommend popping the scrap wyvern or if you had another machine in hand before you used wyvern's effect you could have pitched it for Machina Fortress to get an extra body on field to be able to destroy with your Scrap Wyvern. Like, there's plenty of ways to get a ton of bodies in this deck. Um, so anyways, we get our Golem. And then now we're going to use him to revive our Recycler. And Recycler get another dump. Now we just go into the normal combo at this point. So you just get, like, the normal end board. You get all of your stuff set up in Graveyard. You have your uh, Nightmare. You have your Babel, most likely. You'll have gone through your Harp Horror. Yeah, you basically get the normal setup. So you still end on your board of like Apollosa and IP with Galatea and Dingirsu set up in the graveyard with all of your Orcus names. So like you still get everything that you need. Like this still gives you insane grind game and follow up, but you get an extra layer of disruption on top of it, which is really cool. So this is going to be the World Wand Recycler combo. So we open up with these two, which is not a terribly improbable hand because we do have two world wand so we go normal recycler here our first dump changes once again we're going to send world legacy world wand because world wand's effect in graveyard allows you to summon another one from hand and then now this gets you your link too but see you have access to lib early on now so like you have kind of combo protection here so we're going to summon out scrap wyvern wyvern's effect summon pop get the boy out from deck get the fridge Pop Wyvern. Now we get to bring back Recycler. We can actually dump Harp Horror early here since we're like already set up. Like we now have full Orcus combo set up, it doesn't even matter. All right, and then we're gonna link it to Lib, basically Wyvern 2.0, Succession. And of course activate Succession right away, get Golem, Golem summon Recycler. And then we get another dump this time. Uh, Since we have Harp and Grave, we're gonna send Nightmare because we can actually use this nightmare for something other than symbol skeleton, which is really cool. So now at this point, link four, Appaloosa, three match, three mat Appaloosa. So now we can go ahead, go hardcore here. So we'll gear Sue, and once again, we already have everything else set up so we can go ahead and send symbol skeleton here. And then now with the Orcus nightmare, instead of any of the normal targets we've been going for, since we have double world wand engrave, we are actually allowed to send our Machina Ruin Force here. So Ruin Force just completely free here because now we have an extra body to extend and do stuff with. We actually do have eight, uh, or that's what, 16, 19, 22 levels of machines in the graveyard currently. Uh, we can definitely extend that. So let's go ahead and banish one of these World Wands. We're gonna summon back the Orcus Nightmare again. Link these two off for Galatea. So there we go Galatea, go Babel. So like this is where the common lines kind of vary a little bit. So we've already done our Galatea. At this point, we can genuinely, like basically here, you're going to banish World Wand and Girsu as 12 levels of materials. So you can summon back Ruin Force. So you get an extra body on field. We're going to summon him in defense because he's just a good card. So we'll put these up here. And then now, like, you don't even need to use Symbol Skeleton here because you're going to get value off of your Ding Gearsu. So Ding Gearsu here, you can attach, like, any one of these. Gearsu is kind of not really useful at this point. We've already put one World Wand back into the deck, but we have Nightmare set up. Um, so, like, really, none of the targets matter here, so we're just going to grab World Wand just to, just to have it. Because that does mean more levels for the follow-up with Ruin Force. And then here, you can just straight up Link 2 and get your usual combo but you didn't even have to use your symbol skeleton that time if you wanted to you definitely could use your symbol skeleton like if you decided to go you could have gone for the crescendo line here instead of the babble because this would allow you to right here just be able to go banish symbol skeleton summon back galatea and then now all of a sudden your crescendo is live again um if you can help it definitely try to remember to link the galatea with some link monster so it has its battle protection it doesn't always come up but sometimes it does so let's go ahead and try it a couple of test hands here just so i can kind of show you guys my thought process for running this deck and that way it'll also kind of show you like how the non-engine and stuff goes in with it with it here so we've already power shuffled earlier so i'm just doing some bonus shuffling right now two three four five okay 
So this is our hand. We opened up Urgent Schedule, Fortress, Raptor, and Imperm. So we did get full combo here, and we do have Extenders plus two hand traps. So we're just going to uh, ignore the two hand traps for right now because they're not going to do anything for our combo. We're going to go ahead and normal summon the Scrap Raptor. Uh, pop itself, of course. Add ourselves the Scrap Recycler. All right, so normal our Scrap Recycler. Uh, we already have Fortress in hand. We do still need to get our normal stuff going, though. So we are going to dump the Jet Synchron because we're going to have Jet Synchron pitch this Fortress to summon itself out. Uh, before we summon our Scrap Wyvern, we're going to be safe. We're going to set this urgent schedule because now we're going to link to go into Scrap Wyvern. This is actually a play which will keep our Scrap Wyvern on field. So we're going to go Scrap Wyvern, summon back Recycler. Oops, I forgot Jet Synchron is banished. Pop the Recycler, Wyvern's second effect. And then now from deck here, we get to summon out Golem. And then Wyvern says you can pop any card on the field. So we don't have to pop Wyvern here. We actually just go ahead and we're going to pop the Urgent Schedule. Urgent Schedule gets popped. We can trigger its effect. Get a level 10 Machine Monster from our deck. At this point... We're going to grab our own force because we're we're past the point where we would be able to summon Citadel out. So we're just going to leave him in deck for the time being. He can be there for follow up. But Ruin Force can be an immediate extender if we need it. So we're going to scrap Golem again. We're going to hold on to the Ruin Force. So we'll go scrap Recycler to get another dump. Summon, or send the World Wand. And then now Lib will be able to set us our World Legacy Succession. So we can go Succession, bring back Golem. Golem, bring back Recycler. Get another dump now for the Harp Horror. And the nice thing here is, is that now we can leave Lib the World Key Blade Master on our field because we can use the Scrap Wyvern as our Link 2, which is great. And I am actually going to opt to put our Apollosa over here to maximize on arrows. So that way we have an arrow here and we still have these three arrows. So now before we get too much further, we do have protection from our Apollosa. So we are able to, before we dark lock ourselves, use the fortress discarding the ruin force to go ahead and summon himself out as extra link material, just so we have him. We basically kept him as an insurance policy up until now. So now we can go ahead and banish our harp horror, get our normal combo going, go for Gearsu, Gearsu effect send nightmare, and then banish nightmare to send wherever the boy is, the simple skeleton. So now we can go to our Galatea. Uh, so we're going to go World Wand here first. Banish itself, summon back Nightmare. Use Galatea, send the World Wand back so that we can get Babel. So I'm going for Babel here because we have Lib and Apollosa on field. So like IP is just going to be a lot of interruption here. So we're just going to banish the Symbol Skeleton, summon out of Gearsu. We're going to go Galatea overlaying into Dengirsu. And in use to reattach the symbol skeleton for follow up. Link two here. Go to our IP. That will have the gears in defense. Doesn't really matter. Just having an extra body is the important part. Okay. So then now with this board, we have two hand traps. We have two interruptions out of these. Three negates on an Apollosa. Plus a in Gearsu with symbol skeleton and grave. If your opponent can play through that, like if they weren't able to disrupt you that entire time then kudos to them, that's very impressive. Um, or if you, with IP, if you have the SP, then these two become three disruptions. Cause you get to go IP into lib, or with lib into an SP, SP banish on summon, lib spin back a card on summon, and then SP has its banish two cards effect. And then we still have ghost spell and imperm on top of that. But even with just unicorn, the IP and Lib are still two interruptions on their own. Um, you would have to discard one of these, which is the unfortunate part, but you most likely would have set Imperm, so it basically has to be Bell. Uh, Imperm is going to be better in most scenarios anyways. Uh, or if you're playing like a lab matchup, you keep the Bell and Imperm in hand, so you can discard the Imperm. Like knowing your matchup really helps determine that choice there in particular. Um, but either way, two interruptions right there. You get three from your Apollosa if you didn't burn any on hand traps. You have your Babel live, so you can banish your Orca Symbol Skeleton to summon out Dengirsu. And you can even get an extra disruption off of Apollosa. Oh, wait, never mind, because we already have a Reinforce and Grave. So if you didn't grab a Reinforce earlier like a Goober and you went for Citadel instead, you could banish the Orcus Nightmare. As technically, you still can, because Apollosa only needs 800 attack. So you can... Orcus Nightmare banish itself and send a World Wand from deck to grave. So then Apollosa gains 800 attack and that gives her another negate. 
So that's what four off of Apollosa, one from Dingirsu, two from this combo. So that's like seven interruptions minimum. And then you still have at least one hand trap. Like that's, that's a lot for an opponent to play through. Granted, you have to get to this board. So you have to play through interruption yourself. And basically all it takes to stop this deck, unfortunately, if you don't open like a God hand is an Ash or an Imperm or a Valor. Like if they stop your normal summon scrap monster, your turn's kind of over a lot of the times, not always, but a lot of the time. That's why we play stuff like the Machina package to kind of help us out a little bit. But I think I'm going to call it there for scrap Orcus combos. Okay.